When Vernice Jackson first arrived in Portsmouth from Savannah, Georgia, she noticed there was a lack of African-American representation in the city. So that created a desire to form an organization that would put a spotlight on black and African-American culture that exists not just here in New Hampshire, but all throughout New England. When I uh, first came to Portsmouth in 1963, um, there was nothing, zero. Jackson gathered together a coalition of people from around Portsmouth. Years later, the group formed the Seacoast African American Cultural Center. Sandy Clark Cady serves as president. One of our main goals, our focus is on the youth. Um, you know, a lot of black history is lost and we're starting to dig it up and um, and so I think our main, one of our main goals is to pass this information on, let them get excited about history. The center's current display highlights the administration of former President Barack Obama. Donning the walls are photos taken by Pete Souza, President Obama's chief official White House photographer. As you're hanging them up between the tiers, you know, you're looking at... Um, togetherness, you're looking at support from all walks of life, you're looking at um, a man who has done some great things for um, America, not just for black people, but for America. Over the past two decades, the center has also featured countless other exhibits and speaker series, book signings and scholarships, each one a different avenue to educate New Hampshire about its African American roots to see what we came from. We came from nothing and we came to this. It's just, just overwhelming. I'm so happy. I'm Tim Callery for WMUR News 9.